For years, the HP Elite Dragonfly has been one of the most sleek, luxurious, and exorbitantly expensive business laptops you can buy. And the new Dragonfly Pro is HP's attempt to market those models to a broader, consumer-focused, and more price-conscious audience. I got to spend a few minutes with these upcoming devices. There are some things I liked and some things I hated, and we'll get into all of that. But first, I need to explain the name. So if you see HP's regular Elite Dragonfly on any store shelves, that's the exorbitant multi-thousand dollar business laptop. And if you see the Elite Dragonfly Pro, that's the one for consumers, despite the fact that Pro is in its name. So I asked HP about this, and they were basically like, yeah, well, it is what it is. So just keep in mind, Pro equals not for pros, and not Pro equals for pros. Simple, right? There are two Dragonfly Pro models so far. There's a Windows version and there's a Chromebook. Now these two laptops side by side look fairly similar, but there's one thing you'll probably notice very quickly. The Chromebook has an RGB keyboard. Now you may be thinking, RGB keyboard, is it a gaming Chromebook? No, no it is not. I mean, you could go ahead and play games on it, you're an adult, live your life, but it is not being designed, marketed, or sold for the purpose of cloud gaming. In fact, this is the first RGB keyboard to appear on a non-gaming Chromebook. Now I asked HP why there is an RGB keyboard on this very much not for gaming Chromebook, and again, they were basically like, yeah, well, it is what it is. So if you're a non-gamer who is dedicated to a non-gaming Chromebook, but you do like pretty lights, I guess this is your time to shine. Now, the other thing about this Chromebook is that the screen will reach 1200 nits. I always try to take 1000 nit brightness claims with a grain of salt, but on paper, that is brighter than any Chromebook I've ever heard of. If you know of any Chromebooks that are brighter than 1200 nits, feel free to let me know in the comments so I can order them immediately for myself. Now inside, this is going to have 12th gen Intel processors, which are old at this point, but whatever, it's a Chromebook, 16 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabytes of storage, 2560 by 1600 resolution, all that good stuff. What we don't know yet about either of these models is price. But the non-pro elite Dragonfly Chromebook, which remember is being sold to pros, starts at well over a thousand bucks. So, you know, anything under that would be an improvement. Now, the Windows version does not have an RGB keyboard. It does have AMD's Ryzen processors. In fact, it was made in partnership with AMD and is AMD exclusive. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. There's a 1920 by 1200 touch display, a haptic trackpad, Thunderbolt 3 support, and a five megapixel IR camera. And in person, this thing looks really nice, but I really need to talk about this keyboard. So on the side, there's a new row of hotkeys. One pulls up the camera, one pulls up the control center, there's one you can remap to whatever you want, and then there's this one. This one with a little speech bubble. You know what this does? This pulls up what HP describes as 24 seven live concierge support. That is a service you have to pay for. I'm sure there's a trial period that gives you free access to the service for some amount of time after you buy a Dragonfly Pro. And HP also told me that while they haven't finalized pricing for the service, the fee will be low. This is a keyboard key that does not actually do anything unless you pay a subscription fee. I hate this. If you subscribe to HP's concierge service and you want an easy way to pull that up, you can put a shortcut on your desktop but companies should not be selling keyboards with entire hotkeys that are useless unless you pay an extra fee. Oh, and you can't remap it. Don't worry. I asked. Now HP has made a couple other announcements alongside the Dragonfly Pro and they infuriate me slightly less. So there's a new Dragonfly G4, which is part of the established not pro but for pros line. And this comes with a few fancy webcam features that I had a bit too much fun testing. My favorite is this multi-camera experience, which tracks where you're looking and lets you swap between two different webcams while you're staying on the same Zoom feed. They've also got this E45C G5 monitor, which is apparently the world's first 
45 inch super ultra wide dual QHD curved monitor, which is just such a hilariously long superlative that I had to share it with you. There's also this Poly Voyager 360 series of headphones, which have this smart charging case with an OLED touch display on it. You can use this to change volume and mute audio, and it can display your battery life and call status as well. On the gaming side, the HP Omen 17 got new Intel and Nvidia chips, and HyperX is also releasing these adorable custom keycaps that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I mean, they're literally shaped like cats. I wanna type on cats. But the highlight of this announcement for me is the HP Dragonfly Pro. I'm excited, even if I have my qualms about it. But I wanna know what you all think. Would you like to have a subscription concierge service tied to your keyboard? Do you like the RGB? And what questions do you have about these products? CES 2023, the largest trade show in the world, is in full swing. There are gonna be a ton of announcements this week from HP, from Lenovo, from Asus, from Dell, from every company under the sun. So make sure you're keeping an eye on our YouTube channel and on theverge.com for all the latest news from Las Vegas.